Hello, this is Kirill, and welcome back to the advanced course on Tableau. And before we proceed with today's tutorial, I thought it would be nice to pause for a second and take a step back to really appreciate all of the wonderful things that we have created so far. So here on the screen, you can see all of the visuals that we've created to date in the basic Tableau course and in the advanced Tableau course. And even though we can only just see a small snippet or preview of each single visual, they already look pretty amazing just on this one page. And if you think about it even more, then every single one of these visuals is a separate data set, a separate piece of analysis, but most importantly, a separate story which we were able to convey to our audience. And personally, I think that that is just simply amazing. It's, it's pretty incredible, all of the work we've done so far, and I really want you guys to be proud of yourselves. You're definitely doing a great job, and I hope you're learning a lot, because at the end of the day, you'll be using all of this knowledge to deliver your own projects and deliver your own insights and hopefully make the world a bit of a better place. So those are the things that we've done so far, and ahead of us, we've got more interesting adventures. Let's jump straight back into it. Today, we're talking about box plots. In fact, we're going to create our very first box plot. And in order to do that, we're going to obviously need to connect to the data set first. So let's go ahead and select text file. And now let's select the competitor research file, which we downloaded for this section. Let's open that up. What we can see here is a table that consists of intelligence gathered on 30 of our competitors. And when I say intelligence, I don't mean corporate espionage in any way. Um, all of that means is that an analyst from our company did uh, some research, accessed annual statements of these companies, which are available online, and found out their net profit margins, which are illustrated here for the previous financial year. And these companies, they all operate in uh, four states, in the four major states, so Queensland, Western Australia, Victoria, and New South Wales. Um, so the same state as us, New South Wales, and Queensland, Western Australia, Victoria, those are the states that we are analyzing for a potential expansion. Now, we want to visualize this data so that we can get some insights from it. How can we proceed with that? Well, first of all, we can see right away that this is not the best format for the data. We know that we would rather have these states as a separate column rather than having them as names of columns. And we've already talked about pivoting data previously in the basic course on Tableau. Well, in this section, we're going to really expand on data preparation and we'll learn some advanced techniques. But for now, we're just going to refresh our knowledge and we'll create a simple pivot. So all we have to do is select these four columns, click the drop down over here and pivot the data. What that gives us is uh, now the state is in its own column and then we've got the pivoted values over here. So a much more machine friendly format. Let's go ahead and rename these fields. We'll just click this drop down and say rename to state. And this one we're going to rename to net profit margin. All right, that's good. Now let's proceed to our sheet. Now, what do we want to visualize? Well, what we want to see is how are these companies performing in different states? These are comparable companies to our company and maybe that will give us some insights. So let's go ahead and drag states into columns. Now let's take net profit margin and drag it into rows. Now, of course, summing a net profit margin makes absolutely no sense. If anything, we'd want to get the average of the net profit ma margin. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to disaggregate this data and plot every single company separately. So to disaggregate data, we already know how to do this. We just go to analysis and we uncheck this aggregate measures um, option. Once that's unchecked, as you can see, we've got an interesting uh, chart over here. Uh, to make it look better before we proceed, we're just going to change this to a circle and we're going to uh, reduce the size so it looks a bit better. And one more thing that we are going to do here is we're going to take state, hold down control and drag it into color. In fact, I might make it a bit bigger. So there we go, something like that. And finally, I'm also going to format this and make it a 10, uh, perhaps. That's good. And now what we also want to do is change this to a percentage because we know that our data is stored in terms of percentages. 
Um, there we go. So what do we see here? Well, we see every single state separately and we can see how every single uh, one of these companies is performing in terms of net profit margin in each one of these states. And as you can imagine, since there are 30 competitors and there are 40 states, there should be 120 marks over here in total. If we go down to the bottom, you will see that there's 120 marks, which is correct. Now, how can we drive insights from here? Right away, you can kind of see some things from here that perhaps uh, in New South Wales, you've got like the uh, highest maximum, then QLD, uh, Western Australia. But those are just insights that are very, very um, low level insights. We want to get uh, into detail and we want to understand exactly. We want some statistically significant insights which we can rely upon. Now, in order to do that, we're going to perform some analytics. We're going to create a box plot. And the plan is that we today we're going to create the box plot and in the next tutorial we will learn how to analyze the box plot and how to derive insights from it. So to create a box plot, we're going to go to analytics over here and we're going to take box plot and we'll just drag it onto the chart. As you can see, this window appears which says add a box plot and you only have one option here, sell. So let's drag that into there. And there you go, our box plots have been created for us. Now, what I wanted to mention uh, in this tutorial as well is that this analytics pane is actually new in Tableau 9. It was introduced in uh, version 9 of the software. And it's got some uh, very interesting and powerful features which we will be looking at in the section. So we'll be working quite a bit with this analytics pane. Um, as you saw, we just create a box plot. It's got some trend lines, forecasts, uh, distribution bands. So we'll talk about quite a lot of the features in here. And I'll also show you other ways that you can access uh, these features. Uh, but just bear in mind that it is there. And if you want to go back to your data, all you have to do is click the data uh, tab over here, and then you can go back to the analytics tab. So that's all for today. This was a quick tutorial to get us started into the section. And next time we're going to learn how to analyze these box plots and derive insights. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing.